Man, this is a nice quiet suburb. Small houses, foresty charm. Really quiet though. Man, it's so peaceful here. Where is everyone? There's no shops, there's no people, there's nothing. Boy, you know what would be random? If there was a train station here, that would be really random. That would be so ra- Oh, wait, there is a train station. Um, why? Deniston Station is, frankly, a peculiarity. It surprises everyone when they learn it exists. It's that random station between Eastwood and West Ride that no one on the Northern Line seems to actually use. It's mocked, it's memed, and today we're going to find out why. Before I continue, please do consider subscribing if you haven't already. And do be sure to check out the rest of my channel, your go-to YouTube destination for all things city planning after the video. The suburban portion of the Main North Railway Line, which ran from Hornsby to Stratfield, opened in 1886. Deniston Station didn't open with the rest of the line, because of the steep gradient of 1 to 40 in the area, which would have kept steam trains from stopping on the line. The electrification of the Northern Line from Hornsby to Stratfield by 1929 meant trains, electric trains, could now stop in the area. Meanwhile, the area of Deniston was slowly growing. Previously farmland, the Deniston estate was subdivided from 1913 onwards, allowing suburban development to occur throughout the 20s and 30s. And so, to keep up with the growth of the area, Deniston Station was added to the Great Northern Line in 1937, the last station to open on the line. The station was designed by the chief civil engineer, Albert Futrell, who experimented with its design by adapting functionalist interwar architecture into the station's structures, departing from earlier, more traditional styles. The former overhead booking office, for example, is a cute little building. There's something so cosy and simple about it, honestly. There's also the nice little waiting rooms, which I found myself alone in the day I visited. I guess it was a quiet day like every other day at Deniston. The bridge over the railway, which carries Gordon Crescent, has existed in some form since before the station, from at least 1930. It was reconstructed in its current form with the station in 1937, and other than some lengthening in 1955 to accommodate for the railway's expansion, it's mostly remained in its current form. Now, the two platforms at the station have always existed, however they used to be side platforms, with the trains running only down the middle. Honestly, if you ask me, just two platforms would have probably sufficed Deniston. However, the station was actually built with the intention to one day turn it into the double island platform station that it is today. Indeed, the cuttings to allow for this were completed in 1955. However, quadruplication was delayed for years. The third track didn't open until 1978 and the fourth track not until 1989. The station hasn't changed much since then, or well, ever. That's part of what makes it so special. Indeed, it's the only station of its type in New South Wales to retain the original form that it was built in, other than minor alterations over the years. Apparently that isn't enough because the building only has local heritage significance, not state significance. Seems the government forgot about Deniston like the rest of us. Deniston has historically been one of the quietest stations in all of Sydney. I'm sure you could have guessed that by now. Why is this? Well, it's only about a kilometre south of Eastwood Station, and a kilometre north of West Ride Station. Both far more important stations with their own large commercial and residential hubs. Seriously, when I went out driving to film this video, I was stunned just how quickly I drove to West Ride from Deniston. But it makes more sense when you realise the suburb of the station only has 4,000 residents, and that's rounding up. You see, unlike its neighbours, Deniston hasn't exactly changed much over the years. Subdivisions continued till the 1950s, and then they just stopped. 
Nothing has happened since then, other than rebuilds on old lots. The lack of any development in the surrounding suburbs since the 50s clearly has kept the station's patronage from ever increasing. In fact, unlike West Ride and Eastwood, there's no shops at all in the station's proximity. Very unusual for a station in suburban Sydney. The station is so underused that attempts were made in 2001 to close the station. Locals vehemently fought that proposal, and so the station remained open to satisfy them both. Denniston Station has become quite the meme amongst locals of the area and regular commuters of the Northern Line because of how few people ever seem to get off or on at the underused station. There's an infamous Facebook page called Humans of Eastwood where the station is frequently torn to shreds, although the smaller Delicious Dentist and Memes page seems more specifically suited to that job. Y yeah, they seem very desperate to get vending machines back at the station. I told my friend I was doing a video about Denniston, and he asked me if that's a suburb near St Ives. Still not entirely sure what suburb he was thinking of. Probably much more interesting than Denniston. Personally, I like Denniston Station. It's a quiet little anomaly. It doesn't belong here, in this part of Sydney, and I suppose that's part of the beauty of the station. When you're at the station, it just feels very... undisturbed. Peaceful, like the suburb that it's in. Honestly, the suburb of Denniston is a peculiarity in general. There are actually three Denistons. Denniston, Denniston East, and Denniston West. Denniston East was part of Ride until 1999, and it's tiny. It's one of the smallest suburbs in Sydney, but don't worry, I can think of a smaller suburb. Denniston West, of course. Denniston West was separated from Denniston in 1999. If anyone in the comments can explain to me why Denniston West exists, please do. Because the thing is, when you combine Denniston, Denniston East, and Denniston West together, Denniston is still smaller than Eastwood. The Denistons, as you can probably guess, are pretty unremarkable. But they are a cosy little piece of typical northern Sydney suburbia, tucked away under lots of trees. There aren't just no shops next to Deniston Station. There's no shops in any of the Denistons. The closest one of the Denistons has to a shopping centre is the Midway Shopping Centre, just outside of Deniston East but it's actually in Ride. Pretty much the only thing of note in Denniston is Denniston Hospital. Oh, wait, never mind, I meant Ride Hospital. Seems Denniston is so unremarkable, its hospital isn't even named after it. There's Darvel Park, a big and pleasant park in the centre of Denniston, which has a really nice rainforesty vibe. Then there's the breathtaking Terry Road Lookout, which gives excellent views down west towards Parramatta. Absolutely beautiful. Overall, there's nothing much to complain about in the Deniston area. It's quiet, sure, but it's so close to the busy West Ride and Eastwood commercial hubs that you really do get the best of both worlds if you live here. Well, if you somehow can afford it. For all the jokes I made about Deniston in this video, I actually enjoyed my visit. The station was a pleasantly untouched artifact, a quiet little paradox in the heart of Sydney. As for Deniston, the views, the peace, it's all very homely. Maybe I'm easy to please. Ah, Deniston. Not many people know that it exists, and those that do simply don't know why. But honestly, I think it's a pleasant anomaly, because it's an anomaly. And with that, I'll leave it to you, the commenters, to do what Northern Sydney siders do best. Meme Deniston. If you liked this video, please do consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching.